It's hot. It's very hot. Yeah. 26 degrees. I think I saw 95% humidity. Yeah, no wind. And this is the day that we have been waiting to go camping, so can't cancel. No. Nope. Got about an hour and a half walk, maybe two hours, up to the peak of a place that we've scouted out and then a camp on a beautiful peak and maybe some wild swimming. Definitely some wild swimming. It all depends if there's water because because this little thing is usually a river slash bog. Um, so hopefully there's enough yeah, we'll water for a swim even if it's ankle deep. I'm lying down in it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do this. We've just been absolutely booking it along the path to get to a forest to walk through it and have some shade and a bit of respite and it was a forest we we're planning on camping in in winter in one of the videos we walked through it maybe I can put a clip now and it was beautiful it's not gonna happen today though because the Forestry Commission have got it. Goodbye woodland. Yeah, and as you can hear, they're chopping it all down now. Massive shame. Real, real shame. It was a beautiful walk. Blessed that we got to enjoy it once, I guess. I mean, look at all of this. Oh, the forestry. So we're gonna have to go out of the way around this and up the hill which is quite a lot of extra walking with no shade which is absolutely heartbreaking but you gotta do what you gotta do goodbye forest So we've made it around the corner. We're now on top of the forest that is being cut down. You can see just about the peak that we're going to and we're gonna look for a spot to camp. Flies have been a bit brutal, so the sooner we can get up there and be away from the flies because of the wind, the better. Final push, and I don't know if you can see, but being mobbed by flies. But we're almost there. Bring on the wind and getting this bag off our backs. goodness was it worth it got the tent set up and these are our 360 views oh yes not too shabby but this man he's tried to tie his hammock to probably every rock on this mountain I'm and done with this. <laughs> as you can see it's, it's not been a success luckily the older brother bought a two-man tent, so he'll be all right. Although the forestry did kind of screw him over a bit by chopping down all the trees he could tie his uh, hammock on. But anyway, we're in for a good night. But before that, I think it's time to uh, see if we can swim. 
as you can see the lock is absolutely stunning alas until you get closer let me show you a few things all of that is goose poo A nice close up of some goose poo. Lovely. Let me shake the water out of the audio. So it's full of goose poo. You sink in the mud and it's really warm. So weirdly warm. Weirdly warm. And it bubbles too much. So we're pretty sure that we would die if we swam much in this. So after one dip, we're legging it. 6.45 anyway, so we'll get up to the top of the hill and have some dinner. So the forecast sucks. There is now massive thunderclouds brewing with massive rain. That it's meant to be blue skies all day. Uh, we can hear the thunder, clouds are growing upwards, lightning's potential and we're at the highest point. So packing down quick, time to find a new camp spot. A little less glamorous location. Um, and all the way up there, but the thunder's still rolling. But I mean, there could be worse views, couldn't there, to wake up to. So I'm sure we'll still enjoy this and feel a bit more safe from the potential lightning. Happy days. Making sure our water's boiled. Bit of couscous and chorizo. There he is, trying to escape the midges because they're out in full force. And this is our view. And you can probably hear the thunder in the background. <laughs> it's really getting louder and louder. But we're in a good spot. sleep it was very very comfortable no wind oh it's lovely and then look at that oh. I didn't wake up to that though I woke up to Aaron singing morning is broken um, quite a way to be woken up in the wilderness but this has been an absolute success of a trip. Now we're just going to have breakfast and enjoy this beautiful view. This is by far the worst part of the day. Putting back on your soaking wet, stinky socks. I'll pop these on, we'll head to the top of the hill for breakfast, and then we're done. Here we are at the peak for breakfast and I think we can thoroughly say that we have upgraded life uh, in terms of food and camping. So we've got some decent looking porridge that we're going to fill with wild blayberries, um, which will be beautiful. Then we come over here and we've got the aero press so we can have some proper pressed coffee and all of that is with this view. The mist in the valley, the clouds coming over the peaks, clouds slowly disappearing over there in the peaks, but not a bad spot for breakfast. So that was our camp spot up the top of that hill. We've just come through this just awful marsh. Ankle breaking. Yes, it's not been fun. But, just over here is the path, then we're to the car, and it's job done. Yeah. So I reckon that has been massive success. <laughs> Time for a cold shower and a cup of tea. Ooh.